Hi, I'm Michael Choi and today I'm going to share with you some of the ideas that we've implemented in our Monday morning sales meetings that have just made them more fun, uh, has made it a meeting where my team are looking forward to and that they enjoy. Okay, so it's not one of those, uh, not one of those meetings again. It's, it's an actual meeting that is awesome. We, we, it's productive, don't get me wrong. You need to be productive in the meeting, but you can be productive and, and have fun while being productive. So here's some of the ideas and I hope you enjoy it. The first one is a, is a party popper. So what happens is we all have a, one party popper each, okay? And the first segment in our sales meeting is actually our commitment section. So uh, every week we commit, uh, we promise to the team that we're going to do something for that week in the next seven days before we see the team again at the next sales meeting. And it's not like list a property, sell a property, do an appraisal or anything like that. It's more so like mini tasks or, or processes. For example, um, Go door knocking for four hours. Um, what was my mind was uh, I had a, quite a few uh, promises or commitments that I gave to the team, but one of them was one of the team members wanted a new marketing idea. So in the next seven days, I had to create, uh, think of, create, and, and implement a new marketing idea so I could tick it off. And if I do tick it off, I get to do the party popper, which uh, should explode, but this one did it. Okay, so that's. Um, and you know you look forward to it. You want to you want to pull the party popper. And and what we have there on, on the commitment party popper commitment section is um, it's we're about we're not big, we we have good goals but they're realistic goals. But it's it's more so having high standards and um, goals that are achievable. So I, I tell the team, look, let's not commit to something unless you know you're going to get it. Because I don't want you coming here week after week after week and and and, and not achieving um, your commitment to the team because then that ruins your brand. Your brand is someone that says that they're going to do something and then you never do it. I, I don't want you to have that brand. So give us a commitment that you know you can do it in the next seven days and do it in the next seven days and, and then that way we celebrate all together. So we all got around the circle and, and yeah, we do our commitment. The next section is busted. We have a busted section where throughout the week, um, people may do good things for each other. Say someone picks up some, someone else's pointer board that they, they left behind. Someone, um, uh, last week someone got someone a new suit deal or a free suit, they got a free suit. I don't know, I didn't look into the, how they got a free suit, but one of my team members got another one of our team members a free suit somehow. And so in the busted category, um, we we bring that up. I just wanted to say thank you for X Y Z for doing this. I just wanted to say thank you to A B and C for doing this. We make it public and we all clap and go, oh yeah, well done, well done. And it's really interesting because the team look forward to it. They're patting each other on the back. It creates a cohesive team. And the other thing is during the week we all say busted or busted when we see someone do something good. And it's just creating a culture of not busting people for doing wrong things, but busting people for doing awesome things. And you'll find that people keep on doing more awesome things because they get acknowledgement for it. So a really cool section. That's probably my favorite section of, of the, uh, our, our, our team meetings. Uh, toys, I was gonna write adult toys there, but I could've got in trouble there. You might get too interested. So we have like slinkies, um, stress balls, uh, the, um, all this stuff, right? And it's on the table, the team can play with it if they want to play with it or not. Uh, I find that the boys, they love it. The, the men, they, they love having, you know, mucking around with something while, while we're talking about the stock. Uh, the women don't care too much, they're probably too mature. Um, they're, they're mature, more mature than the boys. Boys and their toys, as they say. But yeah, I just find it, I think it's just more creative. It's more fun, okay? So I think you can have fun and be productive. Music, music is big. If you ever go to a seminar or an event, uh, they don't let you into the arena. They close the doors and music's pumping and you can hear the music pumping through the door. And then they open up the door and everyone flocks through and it's a party and people are dancing and things like that. So what I want you to do is I want you to imagine right now that um, you're outside your boardroom and the boardroom door's closed. And this is what happens for us on a Monday morning. Okay. And you can hear that music. You can hear that music through the door, and the whole team's waiting there at say our, our team meets up at eight uh, eight thirty on Monday morning. So let's say this is eight twenty seven right now. The team are just waiting, and the music gets higher and higher. And it's pumping. Open up the door. The team come in. They're flocking. I'll turn it off now, and you'll find me. People are just doing a dance. They're enjoying it, and it just. It sets the tune, it sets the environment, it sets the tone for the rest of the meeting. 
here, we're here to have fun, we're here to uh, make sure that this is a productive but fun meeting. Then, when the, when the meeting finishes, the music bangs straight on. Remote controls, it's just bang, music goes on, and so the way out, the dancing as well. Okay, one of the two of the silly boys dance anyway. Not too well. But yeah, so, so there are um, four things that we've implemented into our team meetings that have just made it really awesome. So keep them productive. Uh, and there's a sales meeting uh, video that I've done uh, quite a few segments ago. So you look that, look that up, stock control or sales meeting. So uh, YouTube that as well. But then this is just inside that as well that just makes it a lot more fun. Hope you all enjoyed it. Cheers.